Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mel. Welcome to my channel. So ever since I posted those rice water videos, I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of comments. And one of the most recurring comments or questions was, have you tried black rice water? So immediately I hopped on Google and did my research and I decided I'd try it out for you guys in today's video. Turns out black rice has even more nutrients, more antioxidants than white rice. So I've been testing it out for a couple weeks now, but this footage that you're about to see was from the very first time that I tried it. So that was a couple weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I am stacking a little bit, but anyway, just wanted to share my experience with you guys and also the benefits of black rice versus regular white rice. This is a black rice I use. I got a two pack on Amazon for about $15. So yeah, it's a bit pricey, but black rice is loaded with plenty of iron, vitamins, minerals, and fiber, and it has more antioxidants than blueberries. I'm going to be using a quarter cup of black rice and as you can see it looks just like white rice but black. Like I do when preparing my white rice water, that's a tongue twister, I uh, thoroughly rinsed the rice in a bowl before transferring it to my jar. This is my rice water jar, I only use it to prepare my rice water. To the rice, I add one cup of water and I'm using distilled water, but of course you can use whatever you want and I swirl it around to release all the nutrients before closing the jar tightly. Here you can see the water has already begun to take the color of the rice. I put it in a cool dark cabinet to let it ferment. So after about 12 hours, I went to check on it and I noticed that unlike the white rice, the black rice seemed to soak up most of the water and the grains were swollen. Here's a better look and you can see that the water has taken on this deep purple, almost black color. Anyway, so I'm about to transfer it to my 8 ounce spray bottle and I'm going to dilute it with more distilled water and give it a nice good shake. So for the first go around of my black rice water, I only let it sit to ferment for 12 hours. To stop the fermentation process, I just boil some water to make a warm water bath for the rice water and have the bottle sit in there for a few minutes. So this is me with freshly washed and deconditioned hair. I believe I use a TGIN Moisture Miracle mask. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Anyway, that's what I used that wash day and here I'm just draping a towel over my shoulders because it can get real messy. So I'm just going to spray the rice water all over my hair, making sure to get every single strand and focusing on my ends. Now for this particular day, the first time I tried it, I didn't really focus it on my roots, just the length of my hair and my ends so yeah that's all i'm doing in these couple of clips also if you guys are looking for more resources on this black rice water i wanted to shout out real quick selena zinchuk she was one of the persons who asked me if i had tried it so definitely check out her channel she has tons of videos with the recipes and how to use black rice water so i'll leave the link to her channel down below definitely check her out so when I was done, I just went through my hair with my wide tooth comb to see how easily it would glide through and sure enough, just as it did with the white rice water, it was able to glide through my hair effortlessly. Like my hair was super soft and it felt strong. So as you can see, I am just touching my hair, assessing it, trying to ascertain whether or not my hair likes it and I think my hair likes it a lot. So final thoughts on the black rice water. It's a go for my hair and I will continue to experiment with it to see how best I can incorporate it in my regimen. All right guys, so I also wanted to do a real quick Q&A just answering some frequently asked questions under my rice water videos. One of those questions I get all the time is did it smell? My rice water honestly didn't smell, my hair didn't smell, 
I don't know guys, I don't know what to tell you. Like my rice also just smell like soggy rice. A lot of people say it stink. Like when I accidentally left it for like three, four days, uh, yeah, it did stink. But just 24 hours for me, it didn't smell bad. It just smelled like soggy rice. Leaving it in my hair without rinsing it for five days straight, it also did not stink. I'm sure if it did, Damien would not hesitate to tell me. <laughs> it honestly didn't smell bad. So I get this next question a lot and I honestly didn't realize that it wasn't clear but I did not rinse it out during the challenge. So during the 5 day challenge that I did, I did not rinse it out. I left it in my hair every night for the 5 days straight. And then at the end of the 5 days is when I shampooed my hair and deconditioned it. So I get that question like literally every day. I'm sorry it wasn't clear. I didn't rinse it out for the challenge. Another question that I get daily is am I still using it? Yes, I'm still using it. I'm not using it every day. The everyday thing was just for the challenge. I use it weekly on my wash days and I prepare it different ways and I use it different ways. I don't always ferment it because a girl doesn't always remember and I don't always leave it in. Sometimes I do a rinse, sometimes I put it under my deep condition and sometimes I do it as a pre-poo. And actually my girl Jolene has a good video showing the different ways it can be used. I'll be sure to link that video down below in the description box for you guys. There's several different ways to prepare it, there are several different ways to use it. So you just kind of have to experiment and see what works for you. I've also had a lot of skeptics saying, oh it doesn't work, or some are just willing to try but don't know where to start. So I'm just going to give you a few quick tips on how to begin using rice water or basically any hair treatment that you're not familiar with. First of all, with anything that is introduced to you, I recommend that you always do your own research. I don't know why this has to be said, but it has to be said. Do your own research with literally anything new that you're unfamiliar with. You need to know the facts for yourself to find out if this is something that might work for you or not. Do your own research, girl. Also, with any hair treatment, including rice water, you need to know your hair. So you need to know your hair's porosity, its likes, its dislikes. You need to know what is needed to achieve your unique moisture protein balance in your hair. A lot of people think that a protein moisture balance has to be equal, but believe it or not, it's different for everybody's hair type. Once you know your hair, you will know what will work for it and what will not work for it. I also recommend that you do a patch test. I literally do this with every single product that I'm about to try on my skin and my hair. I just don't go in and like put stuff on my skin and my hair and just pray for the best. I do a patch test. I don't know why this has to be said either but yeah you need to do a patch test because not everything will work for everybody. Next I recommend that you learn the different methods of preparation and application especially when it comes down to rice water like there are several different ways to prepare it and there are several different methods of applying it. All of them may produce a different outcome on your hair. So again, do your research and you pick what is best for you and your hair. Next, do not combine this treatment or any treatment with chemical processes like bleaching, dyeing, relaxers. Like people have done that and it's just like, uh, I kind of thought that was common sense, but it's really not. Um, especially if you're trying it out for the first time, why would you combine it with anything else? Also, to see the true results of a treatment, I feel like the prep work is very important. So I recommend that you do it on clean hair and scalp. That means shampooing and deep conditioning as well to impart moisture. I, I recommend trimming your ends, make sure there's no split ends, damaged ends. And if you can, take a before picture before you start and monitor your hair during the treatment. Treatment of any kind. If you do it on damaged ends, dirty hair that has a lot of product buildup, you won't see the true potential of the treatment. So I do recommend that you do some prep work, get your hair 
right so that you can really assess the benefits of it if it benefits you or not you also want to be assessing your hair during the course of the treatment you don't want to be slapping some on there and just leave it and pray for the best like no you need to monitor your hair make sure that is something that is working for you and modify accordingly also please follow up with moisture if you think it's making your hair feel drier than normal all right guys that's it for this video let me know if you have any questions i'm down in the comment box as always also let me know if you've heard of black rice water and if you plan to try it thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye